Hello all, this video is on a project using MLX90614 IR non-contact thermometer sensor which is designed on SM bus which is similar to I2C. It is also called as GY906 and it has got its own pull-up resistor and 3.3 volt re regulator. For distance measurement we use an ultrasonic uh, sensor which has trigger and echo pins. For display we use a 0.96 size I2C uh, model uh, OLED. For a controller we use Arduino Nano and a buzzer is also used for indication purpose. The whole project can be powered up from Arduino Nano itself or if you want you can use an external power supply uh, 5 volt 1 ampere power supply. A cabinet like this is uh, finally used to assemble all the items. Holes are made for ultrasonic OLED and uh, MLX sensor. A yeah, oral uh, digital thermometer is used for calibration purpose. Exact uh, temperature can be calibrated uh, using this. On the cabinet, uh, the ultrasonic can be fixed at the top and the center OLED and at the bottom the MLX sensor can be fixed like this. For testing purpose, let us use uh, breadboard uh, and fix the OLED and the MLX sensor on breadboard. On a separate small breadboard, let us fix the Arduino Nano. The OLED display and uh, MLX sensor both have SDA and SCL pins as they are working on I2C. So SDA pin is connected to A4 of Nano and SCL of both uh, OLED and MLX are connected to A5 of Nano. If you are using a separate power supply, the top rail of breadboard is connected to 5 volt and bottom is uh, connected to ground. You can also power up from the Arduino Nano 5 volt also as current consumption is very less. All VCC that is of MLX, ultrasonic and OLED are connected to top rail 5 volt and all ground are made common. For ultrasonic connection, echo pin is connected to D11 of Arduino Nano and trigger pin is connected to D12 of uh, Nano. The, for the buzzer positive is connected to D3 and ground to ground. Now let us see the Arduino code. Initially we include the wire.h that is inbuilt uh, header file for uh, uh, I2C and we use Adafruit MLX9064 header file and uh, SFX and SSD1306 header file. To include this library go to manage libraries and search for uh, MLX first and then uh, install the Adafruit uh, MLX9064 library and then search for SSD1306 this is for OLED select the Adafruit uh, SSD1306 library and then install it finally install the support library GFX that is for OLED Adafruit GFX library all these three libraries to be included for this project and uh, we create an MLX object from Adafruit MLX9064 and SSD1306 is used to create a display object. This is for OLED. We use minus one as argument as there is no reset pin in OLED. We use float variables for a room temperature, object temperature and then S temperature that is for averaging five readings. Also integer variable is used for uh, counting. That is we have to average five uh, measurements. A float variable is used for threshold which is for uh, calibrating the MLX uh, sensor correct temperature reading and we set the maximum and minimum range of uh, as integer variables that is for uh, ultrasonic will uh, uh, the settings for ultrasonic the measurement will be taken only when the object is between 15 and 25 centimeter don't go beyond 30 centimeter and duration and distance are all long variables and inside setup we make the trigger pin of ultrasonic as output echo pin as input and then we begin the serial monitor of Arduino uh, begin uh, function of uh, OLED is also used by providing the 0x3c that is I2C address of the OLED and then we set the text color to white that is black background for OLED and inside loop we uh, use the trigger pin pin to create a trigger that is uh, ultrasonic will create a 40 kilohertz burst and when the object is sensed it will reflect the 
pulse the width of the pulse is calculated using the pulse in function of Arduino the object temperature is measured using uh, read object temp of uh, MLX uh, uh, library and then the room temperature is also measured here threshold is added initially the threshold is zero later we will add the threshold value for correct uh, measurement of L MLX temperature value then we print the on the serial monitor the object temperature room temperature and then the distance of the object for uh, displaying on OLED we just uh, initially clear the display and then set the text size at the bottom of the OLED we print the uh, room temperature uh, first uh, distance and then the room temperature and at the center we display the object temperature in Celsius we call the display function of OLED for uh, displaying the text and we convert it to string for displaying it here then the calculation if distance is the greater than maximum range we display it as uh, get closer and if it is less than minimum we display it as too close and then the if condition is checked whether the object is between minimum range and maximum range and the read count is also checked for uh, phi and then we call the display temperature uh, function otherwise uh, again the reading is taken and read count is uh, in incremented inside the display temperature function we uh, set the uh, text size and then display uh, display the object temperature and then we uh, uh, normalize the read count and s temp to zero if object temperature is more than 37.5 we call the play alert function and if it is less uh, if it is normal we play the ok function for this we use the tone function of the Arduino here uh, the pin number where the buzzer is connected is uh, taken as argument the second argument is frequency and the third argument is duration of the play and finally we call the no tone function and the pin number to switch off the tone function select the correct board that is Arduino Nano we are using and then upload the code on OLED display initially it will say get closer and when object is too close it will say uh, too close is displayed when the object is at the bottom you, of the OLED you can see the uh, distance printed in centimeter and then the room temperature is also uh, printed when the object is between 15 centimeter and 25 centimeter it will display hold on for five times and then display the actual temperature now let us place the forehead for correct reading of temperature body temperature now it says 31.2 celsius on measuring with the oral thermometer placing under tongue it says 98.2 fahrenheit converting 98.2 fahrenheit to celsius it is 36.77 which is 36.8 so for calculation of correct temperature let us uh, uh, generate the threshold value which is 36.8 minus 31.2 that is measured by the MLX it is 5.6 so you have to add 5.6 as threshold change the threshold value from 0 to 5.6 so the actual temperature of the object uh, is added with 5.6 to display the correct temperature value and the correct temperature will uh, will be displayed only when the object is between 15 centimeter and 25 centimeter above or below this range the temperature will not be displayed and we uh, take five readings for this upload this code now place the forehead uh, in front of the MLX sensor it'll, if uh, range is between 15 and 25 centimeter it will display the correct uh, ob object temperature that is body temperature is 36.9 which is uh, correct thank you for watching